right, let's take the derivative of this function. I want you to notice first, there's a negative outside of here. And I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses around that, like I've done in this next step. And that's because we have two functions, x times y, multiplied by each other. So since we have two separate functions, 1, 2, we're going to have to do the chain rule. And I don't want to mess with that negative right now, so I'm just going to leave that negative out here for a little while. And I'm going to do the chain rule that way. So we're going to take the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second, which is 3y squared dy over dx, since we're taking the derivative with respect to x, plus the second, y cubed, times the derivative of x, which is just 1, or dy dx, which simplifies, minus 1 equals 12y squared dy over dx plus 0. Now I'm going to simplify by distributing that negative to everything. So I'm going to get negative 3xy squared dy over dx plus y cubed minus 1 equals 12y squared dy over dx. So to find dy dx, right now I've got a little bit of a problem. I've got dy dx on both sides. I've got it in this term and I've got it in this term. And so in order to find dy dx, I need both of them on the same side. So I'm going to add 3xy squared dy over dx, because this is one big term. Everything's multiplied together, right? I'm going to add that to both sides, plus 3xy squared dy over dx. Awesome. All right, so once I've done that, I'm going to clean this up a little. Now, if you notice, this is gone because we subtracted it from both sides. And so all I have on this side is y cubed minus 1. And on this side, I'm going to factor out the dy over dx. Since it's in both terms, I can pull that out, leaving 2y squared plus 3xy squared. I am so close. Here's our guy. So what we want to do is, since it's multiplied, we're going to divide both sides by 2y squared plus 3xy squared. And then dy over dx equals y cubed minus 1 over 2y squared plus 3xy squared. And that's it. This notation is asking us to find the second derivative. You could also say y double prime, which means take the first derivative and then take the derivative again. That's a little different with implicit differentiation, so I'm going to show you how that looks. Again, we have a number, a negative outside, so we're just going to leave that alone right now. And we're going to get that in just a second. So the first is x times the derivative of, of the second, which is dy over dx, plus the second y times the derivative of the first, minus 2 dy over dx plus 0 equals 0. So it's going to be a little easier to solve for this one. Negative x dy over dx minus y minus 2 dy over dx equals 0. And you're going to add y to both sides. And then we can actually take out dy over dx. And you will get negative x minus 2, which you can divide by both sides. And that is what dy dx equals. So dy over dx equals y over negative x minus 2. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to find the second derivative. So that was the first derivative. Now we're going to have to find the second derivative. So in order to do that, we're going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we're taking the derivative of both sides. So on this side, we have d2y 
over dx squared. And on this side, since we have a function over a function, we're going to use the quotient rule, which is low times the derivative of the high. So the derivative of y is dy over dx minus high times the derivative of low, which is negative 1, all over low low, negative x minus 2 squared. So here's the deal. We have to simplify this. Yes, I'm sorry, but we do. This dy dx here, that is not going to do. So what we have to do is we actually have to replace this with what dy dx is, which is here. So this little piece is now going to go in place of this. So I'm going to write that down here. So d2y over dx2 equals negative x minus 2 times y over negative x minus 2 plus y all over negative x minus 2 squared. Well, look how lucky we got. These cancel out. Boom. And you get 2y over negative x minus 2 squared. And that is the second derivative, d2y over dx2.